How's it going? I'm Kev, this is Liam, Al and Luke and we are LL Kool-Aid, this is the name of our group for our innovation and creativity module. For this module we had to, we had to come up with a problem and find a solution to this problem using our creative process. We decided that our problem, which we all have, is to do with a large amount of drug related activity and drug paraphernalia in Dublin city centre. We all come here every day <coughs> for college, every day of the week and we see this problem increasing all the time. It's just something people have started to overlook and it's a serious problem and we all feel very passionately about this. As soon as we had our problem, we were, one of our creative techniques that we love to use is brainstorming. Brainstorming works well for us because we're all good friends, we all see each other socially and in college. So whenever we're sitting down, having lunch, do a bit of brainstorming, throw a few ideas around, it could be either be sitting in having lunch, in class, chatting, or we could be out having a beer and we could come up with a few ideas. <coughs> Uh, once we had a few ideas from our brainstorming, Deirdre, our lecturer, assigned us some creative models to go to use in our project, which were the Da Vinci model and the, uh, the CPS model. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to Luke now, who's going to go through the Da Vinci model with you in depth a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Or Liam, sorry. Liam is going to go through our problem with you. Okay, so we had a good problem, but we needed to put a marketing spin on it. We needed to find out the business factors that were affected by our problem. We used the fact-finding power of our CPS model to do this. The information we found out about, about the problem and how it has affected tour tourism in the city has been astonishing. We found out that tourism in the capital has dropped by several million in the last year due to this problem. We found out information on the internet and on blogs. We read that tourists feel that they, feel that they are intimidated uh, by the drug use and activity in the city. Uh, our problem to find the Minister of Tourism has received information from the President of the Gathering, which is a series of events and festivals to celebrate Irish culture, history and genealogy. This information was regarding the large volume of drug related activities surrounding popular tourist areas in Dublin city centre. This has had a major effect on, on tourism in the capital. There has been a common complaint among tourists of feelings of intimidation and insecurity. On top of this, the pollen condition of the streets from excessive drug paraphernalia scattered around the tourist attractions has had a negative effect on tourism in the area. Now Luke is going to talk you through the CPS model. I was going to talk you through the Da Vinci model, right? How's it going? Just first of all, we didn't really like this Da Vinci model, but us as a group, we decided we're going to try and get a few headings and a start-up point of what we're going to do. So we had sections or headings of services, education and awareness, community and sport. Now the, we came up with these as we were thinking, how could we solve this drug paraphernalia problem around Dublin? And we said, I'll try to set up a few groups and so, this is going to help solve our problem, or get us on the road at least to solving our problem. So it's going to hand you over to Alan, he's going to explain, or Kev, sorry, going to hand you over to Kev and he's going to explain furthermore. The CPS model. How's it going? I'm Kev again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through the CPS model a bit more in depth. We really did enjoy this model much more so than the Da Vinci because our, creati our creativity really thrived. We really wor it worked well for us, and it really our ideas just our, the ideas flowed straight from the Da Vinci model into the CPS, and it actually gave us it gave us a great head start. And uh, I actually headed up the fact finding section of the CPS where we found some really really good information regarding other countries that had drug problems similar to ours and how they solved them. One of them was Portugal had an extremely similar problem with drugs in the area of affecting tourism and it was getting extremely bad. They've, their solution, which they put in place, which is actually very innovative, was drug decriminalisation, the, the, the decriminalisation of possession of drugs, which really did work for them. Their, their drug problems decreased by more than half in the last few years. This, we found this kind of, we found this very innovative, but it's kind of obscure because it tends to freak people out, so we kind of push it inside. But it's just one of the really valuable points that we found through the CPS model. The other steps, such as the uh, uh, the idea finding, solution finding, and acceptance, this is where our ideas kind of flowed together, came together, and <laughs> we all kind of we all contributed very well to this, and our creativity really flourished. But one of the major things we got from the CPS model was the spark to come up with our visualization of our creative process which Al himself masterminded and he's going to go through with you now. Alright, so as the lad spoke about before, this is our vis visualisation of our creative process uh, through the whole module, okay? So, 
as we used to, as our problem is an ongoing problem, this is um, an infinity sign because obviously infinity goes on forever, all right? So what we named this part of the, of the create process is the CPS road model. CPS, CPS road model, all right? Because this, this whole structure was the basis. This is the core to our solution finding, okay? So initially, the first thing we did as a group, we've done a bit of brainstorming. Brainstorming. So we had four lads sitting down, bouncing, bouncing ideas off each other, trying to come up with a solution. Eventually, he says, we got ourselves a problem, which was obviously involved in the drug-related activity in the area. Okay. Second, then the force model we, we applied, as we started, the force model we started to use after the brainstorming activity was the Da Vinci model. Okay. So, here's the Da Vinci model here. All right, so that's like, Leonardo da Vinci, the Da Vinci Code, yeah. <laughs> da Vinci. All right, so this is where the, the biggest part of our idea is generated from. So we applied this. So we applied the ideas from the Da Vinci model onto our CPS road model. Okay, so that's going. That's one of the main sections on the CPS. So we started off. We had our problem. We came down into our facts finding. So Kev worked on the facts finding, the research get a bit of a greater understanding about the problem. So that was a facts finding here, came into the ideas, which stem from the Da Vinci model. The back around, which had in turn generated some solutions. Solutions, and then at the top, we came back up to acceptance. And that was got to do with the fact that we had to accept the solution to the problem will only work to a certain extent, that the problem is never ending, okay? So acceptance, so, and then it comes back into the problem again, it's just gonna go on and on. Forever and ever, all right. So then, to finish off, noise we have a quote from. What was that? Hold up, actually. We're gonna show you the one that completed the uh, create process, okay? So there it is there. So as you can see, we have all the different sections. We start off the brainstorm into the problem. Go straight around CPS roll model here, all right. So as I've already explained, and then we finished off with a nice quote at the end, saying the problem with introspection is that it has no end. Which, which, in tour, which ties in completely with our infinite creative process, man. Okay, so that's, um, that's everything on the creative process. Hope you enjoyed it.